So now, how do we supervise? Um, we want to use evidence-based uh, behavior analytic strategies with our trainees, not just teach our trainees how to use them on other people. So um, this is from volume four of the behavior analysis applications in developmental disabilities series. Um, Reed Parsons and Green 2012 supervisors guidebook evidence based strategies for promoting work quality and enjoyment among human service staff. Very long title, but there's the citation. And they specify seven steps for evidence based training and supervision. One, identify the desired outcomes. Two, specify staff actions to attain those outcomes. Three, train staff in the performance skills. Four, monitor staff performance. Five, support proficient performance. Six, correct non-proficient performance. And seven, continuously evaluate. So what I'm going to do for most of the rest of this presentation is talk through how do we use those steps when we are supervising trainees. So the wording is going to change. This is their, their quote. Um, the wording that we use, we're not going to use staff. We're going to be talking about trainees. And, um, but we're going to look at what all those steps are and how we can use them to provide very effective uh, supervision to our trainees and how logistically we might work through some of the challenges.